Okay guys, uh, good afternoon or good day. So today, we encountered some problem with our radar. So as you can see, the AIS is very far or not uh, in conjunction with the echo. So, so now, uh, there's a difference of uh, almost 3 degrees to the actual uh, uh, position of the echo with the AIS so as per our as per good seamanship you should not get the uh, AIS uh, information to be used for collision avoidance so it should be in con uh, the echo so we will adjust I will show you how to adjust the echo so that uh, it will it will go together with the AIS so our radar is a JRC okay so this is our radar JRC uh, so our model is JMA 9132SA okay so first you will get the difference of the the bearing of the AIS to the to the echo so as you can see I'm putting the EBL to the center of the echo so the bearing is 086.7 but on the AIS uh, the bearing shows Zero seven nine point seven. Okay, so we will adjust. So how to adjust? So first, go to menu. Don't click. Uh, use the left click, but uh, long press. Okay, so it will go to the service engineer menu. So to enter the service engineer menu, you put the uh, zero, then enter. Okay, so. Here is it, the adjust menu, installation menu, maintenance. So, we will click adjust menu and go to the bearing adjustment. So, here it's 354. So, we will check. Let's say 350. Okay, I have pressed enter. So it slowly come with the AI, but it's not really uh, close, no. So we will adjust more. Okay. Okay now, so as you can see the echo is in the center of the AIS target. So to, to uh, counter check, you, you should check visually also. So I will take a bearing on our uh, gyro compass, this way, and then your echo is adjusted to the AIS. Now it's conjunction with the is in, in conjunction with the AIS in the target. So there you have it. That is how you adjust the bearing or the bearing of the echo to the AIS to make it in conjunction with the AIS. Okay, thank you.